Hello viewers, welcome to the fifth edition of GD with Nitin. And today's topic is developing countries need trade, not aid. We have spoken about do's in a discussion and also the flow in a GD. Uh, please follow the link which is in the, in the description below, uh, which talks about how do you attend a GD. For now, we are going to talk about this particular topic. And if I am going to talk for the topic, which is if I'm uh, talking about trade, trade is more important than aid, then what are the things that I would do? So I'm going to firstly focus on trade. I'm going to complete that and then come to the second part of it. So if I'm starting to talk with a caption on trade, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, give fish to a man. You will feed him for a day and teach him how to fish. You will feed him for a lifetime. You have done with the caption. Then go to the definition. Define the development. What does developing country mean? Developing countries are identified by the PCI. PCI stands for per capita income. Now, how is PCI calculated? GDP is divided by the population of the country. And that is how PCI is calculated. If a country's per capita income is more than $12,000 per annum, then it's a developing country. And India today is at 7,000 per uh, annum and thereby it is still a developing country. With this background, should developing countries uh, like India need to trade or does it need aid is what we are going to discuss. I welcome everybody to participate in this GD and let it be a healthy discussion. So you define the particular topic and you also welcome everybody. You have done a great start, right? Caption and definition. Then I will talk about why trade is important than aid. It gives us access to the economic resources. There's resources in abundance and it helps us access the resource of our country as well as the other country. It helps in creating employment. Now, how would that help? It helps in increases the GDP of the country. The gross domestic product is basically the, the goods and services that the country uh, produces in a particular year. That is how GDP is calculated. It helps and increases the GDP. The moment GDP increases, the PCI, which is the per capita income increases. And the moment PCI increases, the living standard of the people increase and thereby it is going to help the entire country. You have spoken about some of the concepts. Now let's get a little more deeper. We spoke about employment here. What happens when employment increases? By default, the salary increases. When salary increases, the spending capacity of the individual increases. The moment spending increases, there's more production that happens, which basically means the GDP increases. When GDP increases, then it's a cycle, right? You can talk about these things in step and what is happening is you are introducing PCI as a concept, GDP as a concept, earning capacity, and you're trying to link each one of it, right? You can talk about, it helps in reduction in poverty and how does it help uh, in reducing poverty? How can trade, uh, benefit people to earn better. Helps in reduction of poverty and there's going to be a growth sp uh, spur in the economy. It creates a lot of jobs. Uh, the prices reduces, acquires new technology. The moment there is more money, there's more trade, we can also take in new technology. That is when the country can develop. Otherwise, if there is no trade, we are going to be doing things the same old way. In order for us to get into innovation, it's important for us to trade. Now, what is happening is you're introducing multiple topics, multiple situations. Now, this is the crux, this is the content, and now we are going to conclude. How are we going to conclude? By leaving an impact. Now, you're going to give a conclusion by saying to conclude, increase trade to provide job opportunities and make countries self-sufficient. People don't need free food. They need jobs to earn the food. Thank you. So you have given your conclusion and you have also given a catchy statement to close with. Now, this is what I would do if I were to talk about trade. And if I were to talk about aid, then I would start this way. I would say no one has ever become poor by giving. And hence, I'm going to talk about aid. To define, I'm going to talk about the GDP, right? The PCI. I'm going to talk about the same thing. And what, what am I doing here? I'm defining the particular topic. What does developing country mean? What does underdeveloping country mean? And India is an underdeveloping country. And why so? I'm going to define and then I'm going to move on to the content. There are times, there are countries which are underdeveloping and they need financial aid. 
it saves life because people do not have food to eat and thereby uh, aid is very important at that particular point of time if you try to give trade that is secondary the most primary a basic need for a country in those situations during calamities and other situations is saving lives and for which aid is important it promotes economic growth the moment you give aid it promotes economic growth do you also know that 39 countries are eligible for special assistance from the international monetary fund imf and world bank gives aids to 39 countries because they need the money when the globe is agreeing that countries need aid then there is no debate about whether trade or aid i think aid is important we're going to talk about helps countries coming out of debt if it's a debt ridden company uh, a country all that we are going to do is keep paying back keep paying back how can we develop in uh, our own country how can we invest in technology how can we invest in innovation you know how can isro become isro if there's no aid coming our way right it's no isro is known for technological advancement it needs technology and it needs a lot of investment for which aid is important right so that the country can invest in innovation aids help invest which is what i'm talking about helps employment increases income increases spend increases production increases gdp increases pci and eventually it's going to do good for the whole nation and to conclude i would say provide aid to help developing countries poor no one is useless in the world who lightens the burden of another thank you for participating in this g that is how we would conclude if i'm talking for the topic aid now with this you got an understanding of if it's trade if it's aid how would you start how would you uh, you know uh, have the content and how would you conclude i hope this helps you please like share leave your comments and subscribe to this video uh, looking forward to catching up with each one of you and the rest of the videos that's coming your way thank you and all the best for your interviews